Hey guys, welcome back to another Deck at Home video. If you don't know what this is, this is a series where I make stupid cheap decks so that you can play them. In this video, I'm going to be playing Blackwing, but this is going to be a little special because all the cards in this deck are from the Blackwing's Pride Structure deck. All but one card. We have the Royal Rare Blackwing Full Armor Master. Uh, this card is actually free to obtain. The, uh, Master Duel just gives it to you. Uh, it was like a few weeks back, you just get this card for free. However, if you didn't manage to get this card, that's okay. It is not really needed in this deck. It is a good card, Don't I can't lie. But if you don't have it, you can always just craft it. It just won't be Royal Rare. Or you can just not craft it at all. It is not 100% needed in this deck. But moving on. If you don't know what Blackwing does, basically, you synchro summon 1 billion times and, and then you hope your enemy uh, doesn't uh, scoop and then you do, you, you tax your enemy. Yep, that's it, that's the deck. Okay, moving on. The deck. We have three copies of uh, Blackwing Shar Shar Sharnga. Okay, I'm probably gonna butcher like literally every card in this deck, but like bear with me. Okay, we got three of them. Uh, three because, you know, why not? fill up the deck and also it's a pretty good extender because it special summons itself. We got three Harm Harmatan. This is also at three because also again it's a good extender and it can lev uh, level, level modulate itself. Then we got three Vada. This is to special summon a uh, black winged dragon from our extra deck just like just by activating its effect on field. We got three copies of Chinook. Reason why this is three copies is if we go second, this is like a board breaker. It can also send uh, either this guy or this guy into the graveyard for special summoning. We have two copies of Blackwing Zephyros. Zephyros? This card. Reason why two. You only really need one, but I decided to put two uh, just to make sure that I have at least one in my deck. So I can send with um, Vada. One copy of Oster the South Wind. Now this card is really just here for like not only going second, not I mean not going second, your next turn so it can like have plays. But if this card is in the graveyard and you have full armor master on the field, you you can just wipe the whole board and the end phase. Uh, then we got. Three Shamal. Um, this card is good. Good to have in the hand. Three sh uh, Sudri. This is also good. This is one of our starters. Uh, Samoon. This is our best starter if you have this with another uh, Black Wing monster. We got one Zonda. This is also a pretty decent target to send off with uh, uh, Vada. We got three Black Whirlwind and three Black Feather Whirlwind. This is our, those are our like extender spells. We got three copies of Swallow's Nest. This is just basically an extra copy of all of our monsters, essentially, kind of. And you've got Black Sonic. Uh, this is just to cheese out some wins, honestly. This is like Black, Black Wing Mirror Force. And we also got three copies of Twin Shadow, just special summon. Uh, you can special summon usually either Blackwing Dragon or Full Armor Master. For extra deck, we got the, basically three copies of all of the, you know, structure deck, extra deck monsters. Except we only have two copies of Blackwing Armor Master. Uh, mainly because we can't even summon this guy. Uh, unless our opponent gives us an odd level monster somehow. Because we don't even have any odd level uh, monsters in our uh, deck. Uh, we had uh, replaced the third copy of this guy for our Blackwing Full Armor Master. Uh, but just to go on with it, we got the three Armed Wing. I guess you could use this to go for a game. We got the Blackwing Bora Storm. This is to help go into your big boss monster right there. We got the Blackwing Dragon also to help go into big boss monster. And we got the big boss monster, Black Winged Assault Dragon. This is just... Uh, whenever your opponent does anything monster effect, they take 700 damage. And it also, it doesn't, like, you can do it multiple times. You can stack. 
You can have three of these guys on the field and they'll take a uh, quick mass 2100 damage every time they activate a monster effect. So I guess you could kind of see the game plan here. Uh, have this guy just burn your opponent to, to death. Uh, yeah. And also this guy just, just I guess it's like a black wing uh, Sigma, I guess. But yeah, that is the deck and I'll now show you or at least I'll try to explain how the heck you gonna play this deck because it is, holy crap, it's complicated. Or because this deck is actually super complicated and there's so many different paths uh, you can go to, I'm just gonna show you guys like the general direction you wanna do, like go towards, if that makes any sense, and like the end board you try and um, like aim for. So with this hand, it's pretty good. We have our Sea Moon. Sea Moon, Sea Moons, whatever this card's name is. This is one of our best starters. We require this card and one other black one. We have two, so that's fine. So we activate Sea Moon, and then we discard one of these. Doesn't matter, let's do this one, because that's kind of useless. In our hand, we get to put down our black uh, whirlwind. Then we normal summon Sea Moon. You actually do not take up your normal summon. You can see here, I still have my normal summon. Now we uh, activate Black Whirlwind to search. We want to search our Sudri, but uh, I guess we already have Sudri in our hand, so I guess we can just grab um, this card to, I, I guess, extend. <clears throat> All right, now since we still have our normal summon, we gonna, we're gonna normal summon Sudri. Activate Sudri's effect and then activate Black Whirlwind again because we normal summoned it our second time. This time we're gonna grab um, Vata. And with Sudri, we're gonna grab Sh Shamal? Shamal. Shamal. That's how you say it, I think. Next, we're gonna activate Shamal's effect and put down Black Feather Whirlwind. Now we're gonna special summon Vata and then activate its effect. We wanna send one of our Zephyros and then any of these level twos. I want to send a uh, Chinook and I'll tell you the reason why later. And then we special summon Black Winged Dragon. I like to put this in defense position. Right, we act, we're gonna activate a Black Feather Whirlwind to summon back our Vata. And activate Shamal, banish itself to grab Chinook back into our hand. This way we have a interruption on enemy's turn. As long as we have a um, Black Wing Synchro Monster or Black Winged Dragon from our extra deck on the field at least. So we get our Vata back, which is our tuner. And then we have stuff we can activate in our hand, but um, it's just to not complicate things. I'm not gonna do that yet. And I'm gonna activate Zephyros in the graveyard. I'm gonna uh, target the field spell, not the field spell, the continuous spell. Put it back into my hand. That way I can set it, or not set it, what, do you, what even is the word? Just put it back in my spells, field spell zone. That way we can activate it again, second time, this turn. I'm gonna activate Sudri's effect targeting Sea Moon to summon a tuner token. And if we didn't have Black Wing Dragon, we would have been taking a lot of damage ourselves. Next, we're gonna summon uh, this guy, Bor Boris Storm, Boris Storm? With any of the two tuners, doesn't really matter. And with its effect, we're gonna send... Um, one second. And also, we activate that card. And we're gonna special summon Sudri. And with... Uh, Boris Storm, whatever, we're gonna send... Sharnga to the graveyard. Makes this a level two. Then we're gonna use this T 
to essentially we want to synchro summon black winged assault dragon with this and this next we're going to use the two cards these two synchro not synchro some uh, synchro monsters sorry we're going to use two, these two synchro monsters in the graveyard banish those two to summon another black winged assault dragon And now we're going to use these three cards to synchro summon into Black Wing Full Armor Master. And I like to put him in defense position because uh, both his attack and defense is the same. And then we had these cards in hand, which we could have actually extended more. But to just to keep it like easier to understand, I'm just not going to do it. So like, this is kind of the end board goal, right? You want around, you want to aim for like around two winged assault dragon. Uh, but if you only can manage to get one, that's fine. It is whatever, you get interrupted, that's usually what will happen. You only get, get one out. But you kind of want to aim for at least two. Then you want to have a black wing synchro monster on the field. That way you can activate uh, Sharga's effect to pop a card aka destroy card on the field and also you can activate black uh blackwing chinook if you have a synchro monster that is blackwing or blackwinged dragon and now i guess i'll show you guys some replays all right for this replay i am going against blue eyes white dragon deck you could probably tell by the mate the guy is using so we're just gonna try and do our combo um, this is, this replay is while I'm like still trying to learn the deck, right? And I included this replay in because this, this replay was like the, uh, the Blackwing dream, right? Okay. And you'll see why like very soon. So I'm just trying to do some combos and stuff, trying to figure out what the heck I'm doing. I go into, uh, Blackwing Aura Storm. Go to another black winged dragon. Synchro into black winged assault dragon. And then special summon black winged assault dragon. So now we got two tax dragons. Um, the continuous spell for uh, destruction and battle protection. He banishes my pop. I guess that's fine. Couldn't even use it anyways. And he activates a monster effect. Take 1400 damage. Activates another, take another da more damage. Take some more damage. He's at half HP now. Special summons blue eyes. Take some more damage and just dies. Oh my god, this was the dream. Alright, for this replay, I am against Mac Max. Going first again. We got a kind of uh, not optimal hand here so i just set three and pass he activates harpy's feather duster so i'm like omega screwed now he activates cyanide mining um, he's about to pop the hell off and i've only got this card which i don't even have in my deck anymore i took it out i only put this card in just so i could uh synchro summon into uh what's it called this guy the black armor master the black wing armor master but um i of all the games i never went into him so i just decided i'm gonna take this card out um because it, it, i just don't need it yeah so he summons his uh access code talker but somehow does not manage to kill me so i'm like okay let's just play this out maybe i have a chance because i drew into sudri i get ashed so um, that kind of sucks, but that's fine because I have this card. So this is the one thing that it's useful for. I tribute the Sudri to special summon this from the graveyard. So I have a defense position monster. He's gonna monster reborn to summon transcode talker just to send it, to, just to banish it. I don't really know why he did that, but um, 
Uh, whatever, dude. He could have actually beat me by now, but... Okay, then. I get to live. I draw into a uh, Vada, which is pretty good. So I send those cards to the grave and summon Blackwing Dragon. He imprints that card, which is fine. Uh, nah, that's totally fine, honestly. And then I Synchro into Blackwing Full Armor Master. I activate uh, Oster in the graveyard and then steal his access code and then go for game with his own access code. That's crazy. So I actually managed to win this somehow. Don't even know how. All right, this replay, I'm against Monarchs. Going first again. So I'm about to, like, I've got a pretty decent hand this time as well. I've got the double black uh, whirlwind and we got the feather whirlwind. Normal summon Sudri. Activate Sudri and both uh, black whirlwinds. Now I'm about to draw three essentially, except there's searches, so that's insane. So now we should have like literally everything we need. Reason I uh, chose to search for Twin Shadow was just I was just trying to see what this card will do if I drew into that. Um, turns out it's not as impressive as I thought it would be. Maybe it is, and I just I'm just I just don't know. But yeah, right. while I'm playing this, the, <laughs> I was uh, tributing you know the synchro with Sudri for the tuner because. Uh, I, I was just testing some combos right now, but that's just how I was playing at the time. Summon our other Black Wing, and then special in our Assault Dragon, and then our second Assault Dragon, and then summon our Black Wing Full Armor Master. So we still managed to do like the aim, right? The goal combo. But uh, let's see what we do. All right, we get <laughs> evenly matched. I'm gonna keep uh, Armor Master, full Armor Master, just because like maybe he can he, he just can't out the the Sigma, the Blackwing Sigma. He is going Monarchs. I'm gonna pop his field spell. Now he's going to was that his normal summon? I don't even know. So every time he activates a monster effect, I put a counter on him, which doesn't really do anything yet until my turn. But, you know, that's a thing that happens. Now he's going to summon this thing, but he can't beat over it, so he's going to end turn. So now I'm going to normal summon Auster. Special summon uh, Shardna, but I get um, negated. That's fine. I'm just going to start attacking. That's gonna just... Vanilla Yu-Gi-Oh. Just beat him. Speed him up. So I end my turn. Pretty underwhelming. I could have maybe been negated maybe. But uh, unfortunately that did not happen. So I just keep normal summoning monsters and just trying to do as much damage every turn as possible. Not really doing that much. Our opponent activates... What's this card? I'm not going to pronounce that. Anyways, he's going to search some stuff. And, uh, doing some monarch things, I guess. Field spell is back. Tributes that card to summon that. I don't really know why he didn't attack. Maybe there was a thing. Oh, this card cannot attack. Alright, that makes sense, I guess. I'm going to activate that spell. Tribute Oster. Activate Oster. I'm gonna steal his monster and go for game. Just like that other game. And beat it. <laughs> I finish him with his own monster. GG's. Alright, for this replay, I'm going against Goaties. My hand is alright, I guess. It's not the worst hand. I still have plays. I do get impermed. Which sucks, but it's fine. I'm gonna special summon my second Haramatan. I get, I'm gonna get Max Seed. But I'm just gonna play through it anyways, just a little bit. I think. Summon a uh, Boral Storm. I'm gonna send um, Zephyrus. Special summon that. 
go into another Boro Storm, and then go into Black Winged Assault Dragon, and uh, and turn. I don't even know what the heck I was doing there. I think I was panicking because I was max seed, but uh, that is just what I have for now. He's just gonna do his goatee stuff. He's gonna take some damage. Uh, unfortunately, I because uh, I only have one tax dragon. He's just taking 700 every time, but well, that's fine. It's still some type of damage. And I'm going to, before my turn ends, I'm going to activate Tax Dragon and wipe the whole board and activate Twin Shadow to summon a Black Winged Dragon. And I'll explain why I do this in a second. So now it's my turn. I have a Black Winged Dragon and Boros Storm Dragon, uh, not Dragon, Boros Storm the Wicked in the graveyard. That means I can special summon my another Winged Assault Dragon. Now, now I'm doing plays. Now I have basically completely negated his everything. And I'm gonna steal his uh, shift as well, so that he doesn't, he doesn't get this for his turn, which he can, which he will be able to banish and then summon on my turn again. So he's gonna try and do his thing again. I'm gonna keep taxing him, and he just scoops. He just couldn't do anything. He was, he didn't have enough health. He just couldn't do it. GGS. Alright, for this replay, I believe I'm against a uh, Synchro Resonator deck. I'm going second this time. He's about to pop off. Red Rising Dragon. Which... Wait, what? He's got the OG cards. Which of the Black Forest? Search a card. Synchro into Chaos Ruler. He's about to excavate. Is it excavate or is it mill? Excavate. He's gonna grab his Wandering King Wild Wind. Going into Supe combo. Another Red Rising Dragon. It's not one spur turn, holy crap. He's gonna heal for 3,000. Look at his look at his LP. Alright, he's got the Chaos Ruler, a set card. He's got Red Dragon Archfiend. What does this do? I don't even know. Nothing. Oh, he's gonna go into a hot Red Dragon Archfiend on my turn. Holy crap. I'm gonna activate Shamal. Set. Not set. Put Fe Feather Whirlwind onto my field. Summon Borstor. Bor whatever his name is. Do some stuff. And stuff and stuff. And then end my turn. That's all I could do. But. I said, I set Black Wing Mirror Force, banish all of his cards. That's crazy, dude. All of that just to get Mirror Force on. Just to get Mirror Force on. No way. I'm gonna normal summon. Oh, he scoops. He scoops. Oh my god, he got Mirror Force on, dude. Oh my gosh. All right, in this replay, I'm against a Toons deck. I'm going first again. I'm gonna put down, activate Black Whirlwinds, both of them. Normal summon Sharnga. My hand isn't that great, to be honest. I'm gonna search for my Chinook and another Chinook because those are the only cards I can search for. Special summon whatever that card was. Synchro into Borostorm. Activate uh, Zephyrus. Zephyros. Synchro into Black Winged Dragon. Banish these two to get my Tax Dragon out. And then we're gonna set Twin Shadow. Activate Twin Shadow immediately to summon my Black Winged Full Armor Master on opponent turn. He's gonna Raigeki, but Black Wing stays on the field because it's unaffected. I still have a pop and a negate. So he's gonna put down his Toon Kingdom. Obviously, we're gonna pop that right away. Gotta get rid of the Toon Kingdom. For sure. He's gonna normal summon the Black Stone of Legend. We're gonna tunic, but I get called by. Because, you know, that's just how hand traps work, I guess. So he gets to do his uh, summoning of the Red-Eyes Black Dragon. 
but that's fine. It doesn't even have enough attack to beat over my full armor master. I'm gonna draw into Oster, and I was gonna, I was gonna steal his black red eyes, but then he scoops. I, I was gonna win anyways. All right, this replay I'm going against. I believe they're called the Shino Birds. I have never played against this deck before, so it's pretty interesting. I have a pretty decent hand. I'm gonna activate Whirlwind and normal summon Sudri. Search for my Vada and search for my Shamal. Activate Shamal to put down Feather Whirlwind. Special Vada so I can synchro into my Black Winged Dragon. Activate Shamal to get uh, whatever that card is, Haramatan to my hand and the special summon back Vata from the graveyard. Activate Zephros, put Feather Whirlwind back into hand, activate it again. Special summon Hatamatan, uh, trip, 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 trip unit for the tuner. And then Synchro into Boros Storm. Gonna send my Sharnga, I believe it was called, to the graveyard. And special summon my Sudri. Activate Twin Shadow, putting uh, Shamal and Hat I can't say that card to summon another one of uh, Boral Storm. Gonna sy synchro into my first Assault Dragon. Gonna synchro into that, into another Black Winged Dragon. Banish those two cards. Special another Assault Dragon. Banish these two cards. My third Assault Dragon. Now let's see what this guy can do with three Tax Dragons. He's gonna activate his Pot of Extravagance, draw two. He's gonna activate his Pre-Preparation of Rights, get his Shino Bird Calling, and his Shino Baron. Normal Summon Shino Bird Kane. Activate that Ritual Spell, Ritual Summon Shino Baron, and then he's gonna bounce my guys, but I'm gonna negate him. But he called by! Holy crap, he's crazy, dude. He calls by my Chinook. So he actually resolves putting three, all three of my tax dragons back into my extra deck. All of them, all the effort, gone. Holy crap. But it's fine, I keep playing. I don't know why he got rid of his ritual monster, maybe he had to, but he summons these tokens. I have a Zephyros in hand and a sh sh Swallow's Nest. Shallow's Nest, Swallow's Nest. Normal summon Zephyros, search Vada. Special Vada, use effect, summon my uh, Synchro Monster, Black Winged Dragon. Summon back my Burl Storm. Use uh, Sharnga, pop the set card. Activate that, special summon Seamoon. Use Swallow's Nest, summon into Sudri. Sudri's effect. Oh, and then he just scoops. I had too much plays. I was gonna go into like, uh, like probably it could probably have went into like two more uh, soul dragons, maybe. I don't know. But GGs. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video, and let me know if you like this version of like the structure deck, the triple structure deck thing. And if you don't like it, also let me know, so that I'll stop doing this. But uh, other than that. I'll see you guys next time. Bye!